Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. Good Wednesday. Good Wednesday. Oh my goodness, Janelle. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, and we know what Wednesday is. It's what's sold. But before all that happens, I'm going to have a whinge and a wine. <laughs> it is not not a wine, wine. I don't drink that stuff. A whinge, a whinge. Um, it's 9.16. Asma's still not 100%. She's not even going to go do groceries today. Um, kids are all still snug up in bed because it is freaking cold. My toes are cold. I've got to get them warmed up because they're my thermostat. If they're too cold or too hot, yep, that's my temperature for the day. So, I'm going to go to Bunnings first thing. No, I'm not. Am I? No, I'm not. I'm going to the op shops first thing because they brought all that really cool stuff in yesterday and I want to see what they brought in. So I'm hoping it's still there. So I'm going to be going to the op shop. What was I going to whinge about? I can't remember. It's that it's cold. That's the biggest whinge I was going to do. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Excuse my language. Someone left a can on my car. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, kids. They've left a can or a can of Coke empty on my car. And the windscreen wiper just, just locked off. I'm going to go get it. I did say things that happened to me. Okay. I'm just getting all the... Anyway, what was I whinging about? <sighs> my house. I've got a message. I've got a house up north. Most of you know. And if you don't know who I am, I'm Nelly. I live in a bus. And thank you for watching. All new... And I want to say a big, big thank you to all the new subscribers. Because it's just really jumped up big. And actually, we're going to be having a giveaway, hopefully, very soon. I'll let you know. A 400 giveaway. And I want to thank all my old subscribers for supporting me. You know all who you are, every single one of you. Thank you so much. I'm going to get to a thousand subscribers. I'm going to do it or die. <laughs> I am. Anyway, back to the story. I have a house up north, which I'll never go back into. I've been in it three times and every time I've gone it's been absolute. We had a witch of a neighbour, Becca behind us. and It's just one of those places I never want to go back to. I've tried it. It's brick and tile. Absolutely everything opposite to anything that I ever wanted to own. I always said I didn't want to build or buy a brick and tile home and we build a brick and tile home. But it's falling apart basically. It's only, it was built in 2012. I think we moved in the end of, I think we moved in the end of 2012, I think. And we've had nothing but dramas. Like when we first moved in, it had so many different issues. But now I'm getting, I only just paid $1,400 for pipe, um, do pump and pipe stuff to be done and now I just got told that they're having more issues with some plumbing somewhere and then I got told there's a leak between the bathroom and the bedroom and they just told me it's to do with the faucet so I don't know if, I think that's not going to be anything to do with um, insurance now they're telling me also that there's some issues with some of the um, power points like, I don't want to do this like I would I'd love to keep it as an investment, but at the moment it's not an investment, it's just a, um, a cost. So we, we may sell it, but to do this to sell it, I need to know where exactly we're going to live because I've got to move all my stuff out of the front of the two front rooms. Was a double garage I got built in for me. My husband had it built in for me for my craft and, and my all my my stuff. I, don't, I own stuff I don't need to own. So a lot of my vintage stuff, all my vintage stuff's up there. But anyway. So that's where I am at the moment. So I said to my husband, because he's still in bed, it's not well still. I said, that's it. I'm off. I'm going to go have some treasure hunting to, to de-escalate my stress. <laughs> um, and hopefully go find something that won yesterday. I'll probably go both of, back, back to both of those and one more and see if we're finding And then I'm going to Bunnings to buy 16 boxes that I like I got yesterday to fill up my shelving. Because next time I do move my stuff from one place to another, all boxed none of this bags and yeah I'm not gonna do it that way again so yeah I'll see you soon I'll see what I get at this op shop um, and then we're gonna do what sold Wednesday and we're gonna do it early this is what I want to tell you too we're gonna do it early because my last video that you've probably seen today hopefully which came out today because it was supposed to come out last night but because I have got no internet because the kids drained it all off me and I don't know what they do with it they gobble it up um, it doesn't turn over to the 15th, so it's taken over 14 hours for this video to upload. <laughs> and probably uploaded about now, because it was 95% before I left home. So, hope you enjoyed that marathon vlog, and I hope you enjoyed this, hopefully not marathon vlog, and I will see you soon. 
hello my name my day's already wigged out okay I've been to op shops and if you want to see what I've got today at the op shops I was going to show you in between but I'm not going to now you have to watch the end of this video it's probably gonna be another long video but I'm currently I had to go and pick up um, a child who needs to get a new bank card and it, but do it between before 11 30 and he went to the bank and they're so packed I said to him they won't better get in this morning so he's now now they're at KFC getting some food so I had to text them. Haven't got my boxes yet, but I had a really good op shop morning. <laughs> three op shops. Three? Four op shops. Three op shops. Three op shops is all I've done. So I'm going to quickly, I'm going to get this started. I'm going to get something started because my day will be gone and I'll still be trying to do this in the dark. And then it's going to take me an hour, like 15 hours to load up this damn video again. Right. First of all, I've got little notes here because I have to. Now it's what soul wins, that's what we're going to do. Thank you everyone again for subscribing. It, it makes my day to see someone else joining in and enjoying what I do, my craziness. Okay, I'm not an editing expert. I'm, I don't do anything fancy. I just haven't got the time to do it, the time to learn to do it. And it's just a la natural, right? So that's what we've got to deal with. Now, we're going to do a giveaway soon. I've already said that. T-shirt, stickers t-shirt and stickers probably three prizes i don't know we'll work it out maybe one this time and when we'll get to it 500 i might have five three different prizes but we're going to head to 500 now that's what we're going to do okay now with my listing if all you guys who know me well i have started listing 15 a day now the last four days i have not got to 15 i've got to 13 11 11 and 12 13 13 last time 12 or 13 last night that's what I got to so I did think of 12 so yesterday afternoon I took a heap of photos went home it was late but I got it done so and the day before days before I had or enough in my reserve for my listings which was great um, my car funds at 973 haven't sold any new brooches or anything now remember I sell brooches on the brooch Queens group go there and have a look and I've got an eBay store but I think I'll probably close that down just keep it in the group or bring it all over to house of eclectica because I'm throwing myself in too many places again which I've got to stop doing so yeah my car funds at 973 right I was gonna give you two tips well one of my tips at first was when you buy stuff list it straight away do not put it in a pile I said this to you last week that's my first tip of the day do not I'm probably gonna do I probably will use Tuesday as my Tuesday tip day as in yeah tip one tip two every Tuesday but that's one I'm going to share with you always list your stuff as soon as possible have it have it take your photographs as soon as possible get it drafted as soon as possible and list them within 24 hours 12 hours is better a few hours is even better than still get it done otherwise you're gonna have this horrible pile of stuff that's money sitting there going to waste to so do that I couldn't remember what tip two was so we won't worry about that now Another thing I want to say is thank you very much for those who donated to my granddaughter's charity thing. She's been really sick, so she hasn't done much, but she's all that gets donated, as you know, to the charity. So um, she was very happy, and she said thank you as well. And if anyone wants to just donate a little bit, that's great. Please, the link's down below. Right, now let's get started before these boys come out. <laughs> We've got the James Patterson books. I probably, I can't remember when I got them, and I don't remember what I paid. I've written down $5 max for all those books. They were only... There's a whole bundle of them. I think they were shorts. Or, I forget what they were called. I'll put your seat up here. Um, I made $38 on those books. So that was really good. But then my days were slow. So I did that on the 5th. And then on the 6th, I did the this red blouse, which I only got paid for on the 9th. Sorry, I'm mumbling because I'm talking too fast. $2 is what I paid for that approximately at the most. And I made $10.85. I'm a bit nasally still too, guys. I've got a bit of hay fever. And then it was quiet no it wasn't then i saw something on the seventh here comes the boys this thimble set i sold on the seventh i only posted it like two days prior three dollars is what i paid and i made sixteen dollars and 82 cents and here comes the boys and i am going to go and i'll catch you in a minute when i drop these boys off everyone introduce you to my grandson this is mr set nearly 18 so hello everybody <laughs> Okay, what are we up to? We're up to the thimble set. We've done that. Now, this uh, ringing lot I got last week, it's a toy. It's a pro from the 80s, 70s, 80s. And someone picked, someone offered me $18 within like 10 minutes of me listing it, posting it. It's getting shy. And I'll move over that way so you don't be seen so you can eat your food without being looked at if you want to. Yeah. 
<laughs> Put your head behind here and I won't see you. I can't see you there. Look. No, I'm not on the other side. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, no one likes to be watched. Be, no one likes to be watched eating food. Nobody. Anyway, he offered me eighteen dollars. He's very excited about it. And there was five rings in the box before I only got, got to him. And he was very happy with it. But he said there's supposed to be eight in the box altogether. So there was only five when I got it. But I've got to find a ring. Hopefully on the floor in my shed. Uh, when I sweep it up. I'll go hunting through it for a little tiny ring. But anyway, it worked and everything was great. He was very excited. And, and he apparently collects that style of game. Um, $13.48 I made on a $2 buy. Which wasn't, you know, big. But it was still good. The country song for buskers. If you ever see any of these busker type books, grab them. I have sold all of them now. These were all of them. Every single one was free in that book haul that I got. Um, $18.98. Like I've made probably over $100 <coughs> or more on all those particular country, I mean the busking books, just those alone. Not to mention all the other books I got from that free haul. So keep an eye out for free haul book hauls. The Lakers jacket has not been paid for. I did add it in, so I'm going to give him some reminder. Um, I made $22.99 on that. I probably paid about $3. It sat for ages. I ended up unlisting it, changing the heading, re um, sell similar, and someone bought it with a very, very short time. I think, I don't, can't remember if they offered me 30 I can't remember but it's just annoying when they do because a lot of them do offer me money and then they don't pay it's happened so many times I've had to cancel two orders from last week because they haven't paid after I cancel the person goes oh my my visa card got hijacked scammed off so I haven't got I can't pay and I'm already cancelled anyway because I already sent them a, a couple of reminders so anyway so I'm about to go again next stop Ty say hello to all my Facebook friends and my YouTube friends this is our buddy Ty. <laughs> okay, I've dropped everyone off where they're supposed to be. One went on the bus, the other's going on the bus later. But they're all back at the... <laughs> Let's get stuck into this again. Oh, they just gave me their scraps to eat. So I usually don't buy a lot for myself. Yesterday pizza or pies is what I usually get. But other times I just don't eat. I just eat everyone else's scraps. <laughs> okay. Right, the Lakers jacket. The... Anyway, so I'm waiting for him to play, um, to pay, but it's only, he only did it on the 10th. The others did it on the 4th and only cancelled theirs today. So the, the um, vintage Norotaki was the one I had to drop off to a lady in town. I paid $30 for that earlier this year. And I had someone wanting to buy it a while ago on eBay, but um, it was going to cost $63 just for postage. And I'm, she, she was with me. Like, it's just too much. So I ended up putting it on eBay as pickup only. And this lady the other day, just like I said to you, if I wish I had known, I would have sold it to her there. I would have got $100. Would have got $70 profit, I mean. $57.35. So it was good. Like, I'm happy with that. That's a huge. <laughs> this is over 20 by miles. Okay. These J. Crew Bermuda shorts I got for free when I was doing my free pickup of people's junk that didn't want to go to the op shop. It's a good way to go. I've got ideas that I'd like to do like that more when I get my own my own car. Um, Sixteen dollars and thirty five cents on those, and the lead light lamp finials. Now I did put two dollars. I said two dollars in my cost. Excuse me, but. I actually didn't pay anything because I bought a whole heap of um, lead light stuff from an op shop in town. I think it was earlier this year or it was late last year, early this year. And I only paid 25 for the whole lot. And I've already sold the uh, wire stuff. So it actually didn't cost me anything. Everything's been paid for basically. But I put $2 just to make it look good. Um, and $32.72. And what's good about this is I've actually got, uh, I think, another two sets of these lead light lamp finials that you see here. So I can relist. I have got to take a photo because one size was different. So I've got to take a photo and then relist. So I'll be able to do that, you know, a couple more times because I had quite a few watches on it. Um, the antique candlestick was a freebie from my vintage haul of last year. And if you haven't seen my, if you love vintage, you haven't seen my vintage haul. It was broken up into about three or four videos last year. I was able to get some. I paid for some and I got a whole heap free. Of my vintage stuff so if you go back to have a look at those from last year and if I knew how to put links up here I would but I don't know how to do that yet one day maybe okay so I made $22.49 on that 
And this is, oh my god, this is the best one. I should tell you this one. I'm going to tell you that one last because that was a good one. The Vintage Nighty, I paid $3 from the tip shop. I had a heap of them at once. $16.82 is what I made on that. And it did sit for a, a couple of few months. So yeah, it wasn't the best seller, but I sold it. The Australian Verse for Kids and the Walsy Matilda book. Someone offered me five bucks for those the other day. I took it, only made $4. Well, that's okay because I didn't pay anything for them. I should probably want to make that. I think I'll be paying a little bit extra on postage, I think. I'll have to I'll wait and see. And the Wiggles, I paid about $4 for those. Sold them yesterday. Made $21.99. I really don't want to do... I'm not going to do the Wiggles stuff anymore. Meh, unless it's sealed. I'll just... Yeah, I'm not going to. But let's go back to the really, really good one, which was a $10 buy. And you guys remember being, seeing me buy it. Well, not seeing me buy it, but know about it when I bought it. was one of the vintage tablecloths. This is the second one I sold. $10 this one was. This one was huge. This was enough for to cover a bed. And someone paid $98.95 and I made $76.43 on a $10 vintage tablecloth. So that was a really, really, really good, um, that was a really good one. So that's it for my um, listing. Oh, okay, how much did I spend? $67 is what my total spend was and all that stuff. Uh, eBay was 5 dollars 76 My profits, um, Sorry, fees were $76 and my profit was $435.99. No, not up near $500 or not up near $1,000, which is my goal to get to. Now, I can't think of another tip at the moment but because my brain's just died. But I'm going to finish eating this scraps. It's leftover food, bits they didn't want. And then I'm going to head over to get my boxes again. Then I'm going to head to the shed to drop off the stuff in the boxes. Then I'm going to try and do this video for you to see what I got. So if you want to see what I got, stay tuned. And then I'm going to go to the other shed and get some more stuff. <clears throat> and then I'm going to come back to the other shed and take 10 photos, 15 photos, because I've got nothing at all in my, in my, um, there's another tip for you guys. Have at least, well, however many you have that like to list every day, have that, but times it by three or four. So you've got, always got, say if you list five, have 20 in 15 ready to go constantly like see so if you have to get sick which has happened to most of us or you have to go away and all of a sudden you've still got your drafts ready to list the next day be consistent that's what i'm saying so it's three tips be consistent list the same amount you say you're going to do every day don't just list 10 today and nothing for a week and then 20 the next time or five or whatever which is something i used to do in the beginning but now if you be consistent with your listings you'll probably see a lot more things happening mine was slow this week it did take a while to get anything happening but I did okay. I will see you all in a minute. Hi, I haven't left yet, but look, I've got a helper. Say hello, Mr. 13. Hi. <laughs> he's so bored. He's actually going to come and help Gran. I don't know what he's going to do. Probably sit there and whinge and, and try and score a frozen off me. But anyway, I've got a little bit of help. Well, that was disappointing, guys. I just went to Bunnings to get the boxes that I got yesterday. Now, yesterday I got, what did I get? Six or seven boxes? I can't remember. And today I was going to go back and get 16 of the exact same boxes. And, of course, they've got a pallet apparently somewhere in the shop. We looked everywhere with 160 of them somewhere. So, according to their little Q code thingy, barcode thingy. So, I ended up having to pay $11 each instead of $6.80 each. And I only got five instead of 16. So, I'm going to have two racks full of different boxes which is a bit disappointing but um next time i'm here i'll see if they've got my other boxes i'll work it out it'll look nice in the shed look nice for what it does now i'm back at the bus because mr 13 wanted to come home i <laughs> i went to the shed and those boxes are just that little tiny bit too high and a little bit tiny too bit too wide so then my grandson my granddaughter rang me the one that's up north to have a chat which was lovely then my grandson Message me, can you come and get me? I'm going to miss the bus. And so I backed out of the little hell hole that I'm parked, my shed's in, scraped the bloody bumper bar on the drain. <laughs> I got out and he goes, Oh, don't worry about it. I, got, I looked at the wrong bus time. So I'm back here at the bus and I've made an executive decision because I'm the boss to take all those boxes back to Bunnings and wait till the other boxes come in again. And plus one of the boxes has got a break in it anyway. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to head back to the shed and pack them up again because I just put my jeans in two lots. This is going to be so good having my jeans in little boxes like that. I've got the men's and the women's divided up instead of having them all in one big cluster. It's going to be so good. So I'm going to do that. But before I go, I'm going to show you this video because I'm going to end it after I've shown you my stuff. I'm going to show you this video. I'm going to show you the stuff I got this morning because then I'm going to 
edit this video so I can load it. So if it takes 10 hours, it's hopefully going to still be Wednesday when you see it instead of the next day. So are you ready? Because here we go. And it is no order because I've just thrown it all next to me. And I'm going to go a bit at a time. And I probably might bought some stupid stuff, which I always do. I bought two leather bags. Because some people like the leather bags. This has cost me $4. But the brand of it is called Millenni. And I was sitting there googling eBay thingy so i'll probably put it up for about 24 28 dollars i'll make something out of it and then i've got this really cute little one it's two dollars only cost two dollars but then i noticed the strap was a bit funky it's all leather um and i thought damn but for two dollars like someone could always swap the the straps around or whatever but it's quite a cute little little bag my nails oh they're not dirty today not as dirty now that was the one shop um oh yeah <laughs> okay i got something i got something really weird it was there last week and i didn't and i couldn't find the the information stamped on the back and i looked at it yesterday and i looked at it again today and i got the designated scary doll um she's quite cute she's very very big and no i do not generally like to sell dolls i have done in the past she was $8, but she's made in the Hong Kong. So she's a 1960s, 1970s doll. Probably 60s, I reckon. She's got the same sort of hair as one of my dolls had. Similar. Uh, made in Hong Kong. Um, she's quite pretty. There are dog, doll collectors out there. I will probably list her for up around the $40 mark and put offers, you know. Because she's got everything. She's got her shoes. The only thing she hasn't got is her undies, her petticoat, her dress. Everything's there. And her bonnet. So she's quite cute and she works One eye works. No, they both work. It's kind of one's a bit. She's got a bit of a sleepy eye. All right, so I got that. So, <laughs> okay. Um, that was the op shop I got the bags from. I think that's all I got there. The op shop before that, I went to. I went to one I don't go to very often. It used to be my favourite one, but it's not so much now. But their clothes are only two dollars each. There was a couple of other things I got, but they'd had different tags on it. I got a Liz Jordan dress, size 18. Yes, I'm going back into clothing because apparently that's where the money is. So I'm going to go back into clothing. So Liz Jordan dress for $2. I mean, I'm not going to list them up for huge money. I'm going to list them up so they're going to be still able to be, to be sold. And I got um, this little number. It is a lace top. It is it's another Liz Jordan and it's also a size Oh, I think it's a size 14, but it's all lace. And I thought, well, that's pretty. Someone might like that. I'll put 20 something on that one, maybe. I don't know. Got a couple of things on something for my granddaughter. I got this really cute little boho dress for $2. Like I said, everything was $2. So it's a really, really pretty little sort of knee length boho cotton dress, which was, was cute. Might even see if it fits Missy. And a little white. It, it's got a. This has got a very 80s sort of look to it to me. When I had that, remember the cotton? That's good. Boomers remember the cotton sort of style dresses, the like long, yeah. It's all cotton, very fine cotton. It's a brand I don't know. Um, but yeah, I thought I might as well grab that. It's Indian made. So I've got those. And I also got this really, oh, I wish my boys would wear this stuff. I have sold this brand before. It is whatever it's called there. Whores and Curders. I've sold it before. This is so hipster. I absolutely love it. I might even see if it fits me because I really love that pattern on it. I might, you know. I love that pattern on it. It's a size 18. UK 18. I might I'm gonna try that on later. I really like that. That's just my style of pattern. Colour. And it's gorgeous. Two dollars, two dollars only. It's Land's End. I haven't researched the brand yet it's all it's bright orange which is really funky but it's um all corduroy and it's all fully lined and i thought you know what i am going to get that and i'm going to see if i can sell it on right so that was that op shop the op shop the first op shop i went to was my favorite op shop and she goes she goes she it's funny because she doesn't know a lot about vintage stuff but she's always asking me about stuff so she'll say is this vintage is this vintage what era what year do you think this was what decade blah blah so i'm able to help her out and she ended up giving me this um calendar because everyone yeah i just love vintage you all know that um yeah it's got all old style pictures all through it so that yeah, was really cute, cute and kind of her to do that but while i was there i ended up getting 
four of these. Now, I don't know. I did a quick search on eBay to see if they were worth selling. And there was two selling for $39.95. And I got four of them for $2. Now, there is some sort of like, you know, where the frostings come away. But I thought, look, if I put $30 for four, I'll, I'll still make really good profit. But we'll see. I will do some more research on that. And I got some elephants, <laughs> which you don't really want it, you see, but they're cute. Um, and I also got some clothes. And I also got uh, June. Yeah, Janelle said, this is me. I'm not going to be buying all this stuff. But I did because it's a box set. It's a box set of VHS um, June. My husband watched this over and over. So it's episode one, two, and three. I think it's the original June. I'm not sure. I presume it would be. But anyway. I don't care as long as someone buys it. So that cost me. Well, everything at this shop, this particular day, including these, starting from the glasses and the June and all this other stuff I'm going to show you, was $12 for it all. And that included the slide guitar manual because a lot of these are really good for people who are wanting to learn certain things on guitars. A bag of books. I can't believe I bought books. I've got a couple of Stephen King and I got um, Alistair McLean books, a heap of those. And why did I get them? Because last night when I was doing all my listing, like all my photos with stuff to list, I was doing stuff I had to measure, and I'm measuring stuff at like 9.30, 10 o'clock. And I thought, you know what, this is the sort of stuff I need to be able to list really quickly, it's books. So I grabbed all these books to list really fast, like maybe using that, doing that today. I haven't got there yet. My day's been mucked around again. Um, I picked up a heap of these, which I only just sold some the other day, and those are the Choose Your Own Adventure books. So I got all those as well. So you should think from the 70s and 80s. Got all those, all the glasses, the June books, little elephants, and a whole heap of clothes. Now the clothing I got was it's very, I think it's very 80s. Um, it is a can't Regina or something brand. And yeah, so I got that because someone's going to want that because all these young people think the retro 80s is awesome. I ended up getting this caftani type thing. It was, it's been there for a while. I ended up grabbing that. It's very long. Made in Thailand because that's got a very retro sort of 70s vibe to it. I got this for me. It's a really, it was a big jumper, but I, I like the pattern on it. So I grabbed that for me. I thought that was really nice. And I got this one for me as well. <laughs> Anyone thinks I like this colour because um, it's got Ali, so it's an Ali brand and it's got that like, V, that, yeah, anyway, that's why I got that. And that's all. I think that's all, other than the elephants. I'll show you the elephants just because I've got them here now. There are just about four or five of them like that, but there's a little baby one in there as well. Okay, and that's all I did today. I went to one more op shop on the way to the shed, but they, they just shut. I said, you don't usually shut this, at least it's not, but the races are on. She says, did you want to look, did you want something in there? I said, well, I don't know because I can't get in there to see. <laughs> so I missed out on that. It has, it's not one I go to often because I've got to have cash. I actually didn't have cash on me, so it worked out good. Okay, so you've seen all that. That's done. Thank you for watching. I'm going to go and do the rest of my stuff, and I'm going to edit this in between times as I do. Take care, everyone. Happy hunting, and I will see you probably Friday, maybe. Or Saturday. I don't know. We'll see you sometime soon. Bye. Just a quick ad. I went back. I took those boxes back and I asked, I said, look, when the new ones come in, can you tell me where they are? And he went and asked somebody else and they're all at the back. It's not supposed to be at the back of the, the shed. 120 of them. 126, 125. I picked 25 up because they were all stacked in a row. So I don't even know what I spent. $6.80 times 25 boxes. I should have enough boxes to keep me going for quite a while and all my shelving. So that's done. Now I'm going back to the shed to put it all, I'm going back to the old shed to pick up stuff to take to the new shed and I'm going to stack some of the stuff in these boxes and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.